Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial regarding some new features we have on the SimLab Composer 9.2 and in this tutorial we're going to specifically talk about the grass effect which is a very useful and very easily used tool so in order to access this tool you have to make sure first that you're on the virtual reality tab and then you can go to effects and from the landscape category press on grass so this is the window of the VR grass generator of course this grass can only be seen in one of your VR projects so you have to run the VR viewer after which you choose the geometries you want to add the grass to you have this window here of members you can add whatever object whatever geometry if you've created it in the SimLab Composer itself or imported it from another software and when you click on the add member button here you can see that the name of the geometry is visible in this window and it's the same as the list of all geometries you have so afterwards you have the overall coverage and you have many variations to choose from to also whichever fits your scene better the options we have are more likely to fit and to give you the effect that you need in the scene that you're building and you have to try out yourself to see what color and what height fits the scene most so for example we have created here a plane and we've added the grass feature too we've generated some grass on this geometry and we can easily see it on the VR viewer here so if we go to the VR viewer from the virtual reality tab first of all you have to make sure that you have a start position so you place the start position whatever you want also and then you can show in viewer or press control and enter so I've created this small project here to show you how much life this effect can give to your scene especially when you're wearing the VR headset so you can see that the grass have variable animations and also variable green values so now you can use this feature to add grass to any geometry you have in your landscape and I hope you like it and I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.